Hi, I'm Nika. I'm an artist, designer, and educator working at the intersection of soil to soil creation, textile, social justice, farming, and handcraft. I grew up in New York City. I'm the founder and director of Fiber House Collective. I was not yet born when the Berlin Wall fell. I would take classes on the weekends in middle school and high school at Fashion Institute of Technology. And when I was ready to go to college, I knew I wanted to go to school in New York as well. And I went to Parsons, the new school for design, or Parsons School of Design and I studied fashion design. But when I got there, I quickly realized how unsustainable and unethical the fashion industry was at large. At first, I was a little discouraged. I didn't know what I could do. I felt overwhelmed. But through my studies there and through my research and experiences after, I realized that one person can have an impact, especially when they connect with other people and you form a collective and together you can really start a movement to make change in the fashion industry and beyond. At the Fiber House Collective, we are breaking walls around the separation of science and art. With new technologies, the divergence of creative fields and science seem to be reconnecting. At Fiber House Collective, our mission is to create cloth that heals. Interdisciplinary practices are emerging in schools and industry, and we're excited to expand it into these in-between spaces, the informal spaces in our lives. I started working with fashion designers at a place called Manufacture New York, where I ran their education programming and their public programs, and it was amazing. I had a platform to teach people and bring in other amazing folks in wearable technology and textiles and fashion production to share their expertise as well. We really created an amazing community. Unfortunately, we lost our funding. And after that, I thought, what can I do next? And I started working at a community bio lab. It was called GenSpace. It was also in New York, in Brooklyn as well. And it really allowed me to expand my practice into bio materials and bio design. So that's using science and mixing it with art and creating new innovations that neither person would have thought about on their own. So it really confirmed this idea that we need to mix different mediums and different perspectives together in order to create change or figure out new innovations in design and in anything we make. I have been most surprised by the interest and support from participants who want to integrate biotechnology and ecology into their art practice. So I think of this idea of composting color or collecting color at the end of its weight, at when it's waste and turning it into something new. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of vinegar. We can think about this in terms of combining flour waste with our food waste. We've got a lot going on. What are the other things that we're stumbling across that's like wasteful in our own lives? Like coffee grounds, for example. I've been taking all my coffee grounds and growing mushrooms on them, right? And then like you can grow certain mushrooms actually that give you color and then you can have more color, right? It can keep circling and circling and circling. We offer workshops, in, often in person and now more and more online, private sessions. So that's just going very in depth, usually about their project, their practice, something that they want to learn very specifically. Um, also, it's a little bit like consulting for some people, businesses trying to think about how they can integrate some of these cloth that heals or closed loop practices into their design process. We also have a residency program. People can come stay for a whole week. This is actually the room that the residents stay in. Our research has been focusing on how we can get mushrooms to decompose textiles. 